So I've been using iOS 18 since WWDC for a little over a month ago. And I gotta say, this is gonna be an update that most people would appreciate. It's a lot of new features that we've been begging Apple to put on the iPhone for years, and we finally have it on iOS 18. Now, currently in the time of this recording, iOS 18 is in beta. Now, it is installed on my main driver, which is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But in this video, I'm gonna be discussing five of my favorite features on iOS 18. And kicking things off with number one, the control center. Now, the control center, we've been seeing the same thing since iOS 11, which is making it 2018. So for six years, we've been seeing the same old control center. And yes, it looks familiar here, but now you can move the toggles anywhere. You can make them larger, smaller, and you have a plethora of new controls to pick from. So the text size, the translate, just to name a few. It's a long list of controls here. Now, in my opinion, the pages are a bit redundant because if you want to get to the connectivity page, such as the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you have it on your main screen here. All you have to do is long press it and you have that same exact toggles instead of going all the way down to the last page. And same thing with the music player. If you want to get into the full controls, you can just long press it and boom, you, you have it. And at the number two spot, home screen customization. Now, this is a big deal. Ever since the beginning of the first iPhone, we could not put our icons anywhere on the screen. It's just a grid that Apple has to follow, but on iOS 18, Apple finally killed off the grid. So now you can be able to place your app icons anywhere on the screen. So for instance, I could put an app all the way on the bottom and have nothing else on the top. Now, I've been doing this for years, thanks to the blank widgets, and it doesn't even stop there with the customization. You can also add tints, so if you long press, put your icons into jiggle mode, tap on edit, customize, you now have dark icons and light icons, and now you have tint. So now what tint does, you can change the color of all of your applications that you have installed. It kind of feels like I'm breaking the rules of Apple in the terms of conditions because it feels like a jailbreak tweak. But now everything is native now, but I still have my Siri shortcuts. That's how you guys can be able to see these cool, unique looking icons. But I am working on a iOS 18 home screen setup. Maybe towards September, I might do something like that. I am working on a brand new wallpaper pack. It is called Vortex but it is in the works, but you guys can still purchase my Fusion wallpaper pack. So now it's like a breath of fresh air. You can now hide apps now. So those of you guys that have that Tinder account, you can now officially hide your applications. And if you wanna launch up those apps, you have to authenticate whether it's Face ID or Touch ID to access those apps. This is another feature that we wanted for years from Apple and we finally got it. And it doesn't even stop there. You can finally customize the lock screen toggles. I'm actually gonna keep the flashlight there, but the camera app is definitely going just because I have the 15 Pro Max. I just use my action button to open up the camera application. The passwords app, instead of you going into the preferences and all of that, you now have an individual app to access your password. You have access to the, all of your Wi-Fi passwords. Of course, you have your login information for all your apps. And most of these features that's on iOS 18 is also on iPadOS 18 too as well. I love the fact how you can record video while you're listening to music. As simple as it sounds, I love this a lot. I'm at the gym all the time, I'm lifting weights, I'm listening to music or podcasts. Why does the music always pause while I'm recording video? On iOS 18, that's no more. I can listen to whatever I'm listening to while I'm recording video. You know, there's a lot going on on iOS 18 and I just wanna just pull out some of the features that some of my favorite. You know, shout out to Brandon Bush, iDevice Help. You know, those guys, they go into real details on all the new features of iOS 18. There's definitely some things that I'm missing, but I just wanna just give you guys my opinions on it. Now, I'm not a big fan of the new Photos app. I know Apple is boasting about it, but I don't like it at all. I, I miss the old Photos app, uh, or maybe it's something to get used to, but it just feels too clunky. And also the calendar has been refreshed too. It looks different, so you can see your events under the dates under the dance, I'm gonna keep that in there. But it is cool, and you also have some new accessibility features. Now, one of them that I tried out and I like, but it's gonna drain a lot of battery life, is the music haptic feedback. So anytime you listen to the music, your phone is gonna vibrate along the beat. 
I like that, but that's going to train a lot of battery life. Now on messages, you do have send later where if somebody's birthday is tomorrow, you can send that text, set the time, set the date, and it's going to automatically send that message. You have new tap backs where you can be able to add emojis now. Both devices have to be on iOS 18. I'm waiting for the time that Apple incorporate wallpapers on the iMessage. That would be pretty cool. And yes, we have support for RCS. Android and iPhone rejoice. No longer are we getting those low quality images when we send uh, both media, whether if it's photos or videos, everything is gonna be high resolution. Ever since the day that I updated to iOS 18, the battery life has been suffering. It's been suffering to say the least. And to make things even worse, my battery health has been draining too as well. So remember, I made a video on the iPhone 15, six months later, it was at 100% battery capacity. But now, I'm at a measly 92% battery health. And you guys can see my charge cycle is 291. Yeah, and my battery is draining like wildfire. But judging by the optimization on iOS 18, it being a new update, your phone is naturally gonna just heat up and it's gonna eat up battery life. So that's why probably my battery life is draining so fast. But other than that, I love iOS 18. You know, bravo to Apple, and I didn't even touch the surface. I'm touching the basics. I didn't even tap into Apple intelligence, which I'm excited for. I didn't even, like, that. that's just a whole nother video in itself right away. And actually right now, I have Apple intelligence installed. So first feature, you have double tap to activate Siri. So you no longer have to hold the side button or say that key phrase. You can now type whatever you want. So you can say start timer and it's going to be able to do it instantaneously. Uh, let's say 10 seconds. So now it's going to start a timer and you can be able to interact with your phone right then and there. And also look at this sick animation too. So Apple intelligence have this beautiful animation. Now this is only going to work for the iPhone 15 pro or pro max. And of course the new iPhone 16, when that releases in September next month. And of course you can also hold the side button. You're going to have this sick animation, which is really nice. How do I take a screenshot? And it's going to show you right there. Press the side button, volume up and down or volume up done. You guys want to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because I am going to compare Apple intelligence versus regular Siri. That's going to be for another video. Now, another thing you have powerful writing tools. So if you want to have something that sounds different, give it a more professional tone, you could do so. So in this case, I could select this entire text and I could be able to tap on writing tools, which is right there. We're going to tap on that. And of course, we have that beautiful Apple intelligence animation there. So now you can have it proofread where it's going to check for grammar, misspellings, anything I could tap on proofread and it's going to automatically scan. Look at that animation, man. Look at that, man. So it's automatically going to make those changes and it's going to fix it right then and there you could change the tone of whatever you write in so you can have it sound more professional you could uh, concise it so we're gonna lower this down a little bit even though this is just dummy text to be honest so it's lower <laughs> lower ipsen and it's only for the portion that i selected so you have to select which one you want i think that's going to be one of the most used features right there not to mention we're going to get the iphone 16 that's gonna be the device that I'm mostly gonna have iOS 18 on. They did their thing with iOS 18, but now it's all about optimization, making sure the phone doesn't get as hot to the touch, improving the performance. Now, if you would like to install the iOS 18 beta, all you have to do is go to beta.apple.com, agree to the terms and conditions, and you are gonna to need to install a profile. Once you install that profile, your phone is gonna reset. You open up the settings, you go into general, software update and you're going to be able to select ios 18 beta and you could be able to install ios 18 right then and there that is where i'm going to conclude this video if you guys enjoyed or found this one helpful i appreciate it with a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys click on that notification bell so you guys will be notified when i upload and other than that i hope you all have a simple day peace